I'd like to open the Deerfield Planning Board meeting on April 24th, 2017 at 610. 610. That's what my watch says. Um, at the Frontier Regional High School, North Main Street, South Deerfield. <coughs> the agenda tonight is fairly short. It's uh, go through some old business, which is to review and vote on the certificate of decision on the definitive subdivision plan for the condominiums at Sugarloaf and to review and vote on the stormwater permit decision for the condominiums at Sugarloaf. Any other business not reasonably anticipated? And then set the date and, uh, for the next meeting and adjourn. I'd just like to add, there's one other piece of old business, which is to re-sign a Mylar for a A&R that we approved two years ago for um, 121 and 117 Sand Gully Road. So you can take care of that before we leave as well. Anything else for tonight's agenda? So we can just go along the board. We have a quorum. You want to just say who we are, Max? No. Max Antes. Kip Camosa. Paul Alice. John Waite. John Baronis. Rachel Blaine. And Pat Smith from the Franklin Regional Council of Government, serving as technical assistant. Thank you all for being here tonight. So this is a special meeting. We're having it before the... Uh, annual meeting, but it was duly posted in the town hall, um, so we're glad everybody could make it. So, first thing on the agenda is to review and vote on the certificate of decision on the definitive subdivision plan for the condominium at Sugarloaf. We discussed this just um, a week ago. Yes, week literally. Ago. Yep. One week ago. Exactly. One week ago. That's Monday. Monday. No, no, Tuesday. 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 We had extensive discussion about findings and um, conditions, and really uh, the main issue was to um, have it written uh, so that we all know exactly what we're going to be looking right. at and what we're going right. on. And this pertains to the um, subdivision plan, uh, condos at Sugarloaf for 35, uh, 35 buildings, each duplexes, and so that's 70 different units. Um, so again, I just want to re-emphasize that we've had extensive uh, meetings on this. We had a public hearing on January 3rd, February 6th, March 6th, and April 3rd. We closed the public hearing on April 3rd, having received a, a great deal of information. And then since then, we've been going over the findings and conditions. So. I just want to take a, a, a poll, how do we want to proceed, because we all made comments last week, um, and Pat has put it together, and basically we want to just double check that everything that we talked about last week get into these notes, so you want to... Yeah, and so I had prepared then last Wednesday new drafts of both the, the certificate of decision on the definitive subdivision plan with all of the inserts and deletions in that. And I had also made a clean copy of that to send out to people because a lot of times folks can't read it with all the insertions and deletions. Even though I cleaned it up, I had accepted the ones we had already, but there were still some. So, so I sent that out. Um, as well as the stormwater permit decision. Primarily the changes in that were to make those conditions on pages five and six match the changes that have been made to the corresponding conditions in the um, certificate of decision. I apologize, I did not bring copies for everybody because I had sent it out a week ago in hopes that everybody would have a chance to read it. This comes to my attention late today that I'm afraid the board did not receive copies of it. I didn't. I sent it to the, um, you know, the, to John and the chief, folks at the administrative side of the town and had asked that they be submitted, distributed to you folks, and I apologize that didn't happen in the future. I think I'm just going to have to um, make sure I have everybody's current email addresses and send them to you myself. Yeah, they did come to us. I know they did they went they went to the administrative staff, but they didn't get to the board. I only I don't I don't have everybody as a member of the board on the mailing list. Typically it goes to John and Paul as the clerk. Sometimes Kip's on them because he's vice chair, so just that executive committee and then the administrative staff. So I do have copies here we can go over it. I can pass things around that I have. We can try to make copies if we can find it. I'm happy to um, review for you the nature of the changes in the you know the key spots where we did it. I'll defer to you, Mr. Chairman, on how you would most prefer you proceed. Yeah, so I wasn't, I guess I wasn't aware. So I will, um, 
Should we read through them? Is that good enough, or do people want to see a hard copy? Just read. I have I have hard copies here. These are the clean two co copies oh, of the yeah. clean version. Well, they don't show the be, strikeouts, yeah. and I can yeah. um, go over the uh, strikeout. So if you guys want to share down there, we can share okay. this one. And we can just go over. It. I can show you where you guys need a copy the primary here? changes no, one here. Yeah, but we're going to do a couple of extra. Uh, so I'm right, right here. here. Yes. Yeah, the three of us are going to make the so we're going over the decision first. Yes, yeah, so this is the certificate of decision on the definitive subdivision plan. The first change we made um, on the front page, we added the list of owners and we added the date of application. Um, and then in all of these documents, as to the data plan, I've taken out the words various sheets and just put the dates with the revision ending to March 17, which is the complete plan set, which is now the current one. Yep. Um, the only change on uh, page two is at the end of F, where we took out the sentence that said, based on the proposed slopes, no water should be running on the surface for more than 300 feet. On so the new F, let's just... Um, it's just the remaining text. Okay, yeah, we before, just took that, right. we just excluded that sentence. Right. So if you're looking at a clean copy, you'll see it end at standard engineering practices for F now. Um, and then on page four, we start in on some changes of the uh, waivers in this section. What had been there previously when we read it last, last week now? Uh, was just a generic description of what it was about, so I have replaced it with the actual waiver motion language that we had then read aloud. So that's now going to that's the actual mm -hmm. waiver language that I provided to you, Paul, for the for the minutes, so yeah. that will match. So that yeah. that change was made there in number four. Getting to page four. Um, just two the uh, intersection spacing one. Yes. It says that same thing in it. So that's, so the second part of that sentence, on the basis that the waiver is in the interest of the town, yeah. and that it will help meet the demand for housing for residents 55 years of age and older, and the resulting reduction in traffic. It's not a reduction in traffic, it's, it's a lower increase in traffic. And we have and that we word somewhere fix, else. We did fix that in the findings here. I'm constrained by what was the language used to actually make the motion. That's what this is reflecting. I went back to the tape and listened to what people said and made sense of it. So we have we have talked, we did make some adjustments in the findings. It's, it's, in it's, the findings it's, it's the but I can't go back. But we voted the waivers before mm -hmm. we had that discussion. Mm -hmm. So it's difficult, you know, to go back and change the waiver. Yeah, realistically, it should be a reduction in traffic versus a less, less of an increase right. than on age restriction. 37% right. instead of 10%, yeah. which is it, what it says in C in the findings on the yeah. first page. So I think All we right. can go on the findings, but I didn't I didn't want to mess with what was your actual mm -hmm. language. Those of you doing the motions there on number four. So getting to page four. Throughout, I have gone, and wherever it said building inspector, it's switched to building commissioner, because you're fortunate to have someone at a higher level of expertise here in town. Um, and we had changed on, so we're now in the, these are the, the meat of the conditions. So number two, the last sentence there had read, building, no building permit shall be issued, so that- Number two the, is on page three, right? Number two yeah, is on page, page four. Yeah. This is C2. We're on page Page four. three with the clean copy. The clean copy is page three. Now. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm not looking at the clean copy. No, 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 I apologize. No, no, no. Are, yeah. <laughs> so it's a C it's item. We'll get the exact. Five, five it's C2. Five C2. Yeah. Yes. So it had the final sentence had originally read, no building permit shall be issued. So you guys wanted to change that to no occupancy permit shall be issued. Mm -hmm. And um, then it goes, so the, the new sentence now reads, no occupancy permit shall be issued by the building commissioner until the way stormwater management systems and municipal services are constructed or installed as applicable, and this gets into the new language now, to service the individual lots in that phase of construction. Good. Right. Then we move on down to number six. We, this is the um, inspection element. Remember we combined two into this? Yeah. 
14 six went together. Right. Mm -hmm. So we added, so it now reads, applicants shall provide the opportunity for the town of Deerfield new language officials and or independent inspection services provided to the town at applicant's expense to inspect each key element of the road, da 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 And then all the way at the end, we added a clause, and as deemed necessary by the building commissioner. So there will both be a schedule that is set up to begin with, and then the building commissioner will have the opportunity to say along the way that some additional inspections might be required. The other part of that sentence being, according to the schedule of inspections to be determined by agreement with the Deerfield Planning Board prior to the endorsement of the defendant. Right. right. And as deemed necessary by the building commissioner. All right. We have that schedule here. All right, good. We got key items. We can't put dates on it because we don't have a contract. Right. right. We're not there yet. It doesn't need to be done right now. Yeah. You guys are ahead of the game on that. So the next item that has been changed is eight. Subject to the extension instead of by the board for good cause shown, it's been changed to extension by mutual agreement of the parties. The way stormwater management systems and municipal services shall be completed instead of within 18 months. It is now changed to read, according to the phased plan of construction, with each phase to be completed within two years of the beginning date of construction of that phase. Yeah, two years, 24 months. That seems to As long as it's got the extension of ability to go before you and ask. Well, subject to extension yeah, by mutual, mutual parties, agreement of the yeah. parties, yeah. then, too. So I, th I think that gives the town some timelines within which to be working and the applicants some flexibility in how right. they do right. their phasing. Um, number nine was just changed to uh, get the correct millennia fair. It's 2017 and not 3017. Page five, the uh, the original. So 11 is gone. 11 so is gone. gone. So that, that, had been, bit, yeah, yeah. that had been an inspection of the stormwater management system. That was incorporated in six as right. well. So this, so that's all, all installations, roadways, municipal services, stormwater management systems are all incorporated in that one where they had at one time been separated. Then we get down to what is now number 12. C, this is in regard to the traffic detail. So a traffic detail shall be provided on Sugarloaf Street at applicant's expense. It used to say, whenever heavy construction vehicles are entering or exiting the site, which is like 100% of the time anything work is going on, so wanted to make that more clear or at least less totally overarching. Um, so it now says, when conditions warrant as may be determined by the building commissioner or police department upon consultation with the applicant or its representatives. Okay? Yep. Then number 14, as we had said before, which talked about a clerk of works and so forth, has been eliminated and it has been, those details have been incorporated in six above. Number 13 is in regard to contacts, emergency and otherwise. Um, long discussion, we made a determination that applicant will install signage. So that now reads, applicant shall install signage consistent with town regulations at the subject site I think that consistent with town regulations, you guys said. Mm -hmm. To provide the name, telephone number, and email address for a contact person to whom general inquiries can be made, as well as contact information for reporting public safety issues. Applicants shall provide the town of Deerfield with 24-hour emergency contact information. So there's the public element for just inquiries and for reporting public safety mm -hmm. issues, and then an internal mm -hmm contact for 24-7 in case of emergency. Number 15. So this is as to the responsibility for the installation. Applicants shall be responsible for the installation, operation, and maintenance of all aspects of the stormwater management system until, now comes the new language, another qualified legal entity such as a condominium association or management company assumes legal responsibility for same. And then the final sentence remains, thereafter the operation and maintenance of the stormwater management system shall be the responsibility of a condominium association and or management company contracted by the association. Mm -hmm. Please stop me at any point, folks, if you see or hear anything that you think is 
not adequately represent what we discussed last week. Number 16, new number 16. Applicant or another qualified legal entity, such as condominium association or management company, shall be responsible for ongoing maintenance, other repairs to the stormwater management system, and any fixtures or components thereof. So that's the element that is off the roadway that will always be, someone else other than the town will always be responsible for no matter what happens. Number 19 um, was in relation to <coughs> potential additional hydrological testing, which the board determined you did not want to require, so that has been eliminated. And that's it. Was there yes. the council? I have not received any additional uh, word back from council. I don't know if you have Mr. Chen. No, but the the council did a review and I don't know, approved, he did it. but he had looked at the one that we made changes to, and I don't think any of the changes were legal in nature, really, that we want that we need that to look at. All right, so we have now a. Uh, a formal certificate of decision on the definitive subdivision plan. Any other comments from the planning board members? Do we have a motion to, oh, no, that's a good question. Do we approve, endorse, accept? Do you know what our language is on these? Um, I, I would say to approve. I think to approve. To approve. Yes. Yes. I'll make a motion to approve the subdivision plan presented by the applicant Mark Whiteman for the kind of names at Sugarloaf. Do you think there's enough in that? Move to approve the certificate of decision on the definitive subdivision yeah. point. The certificate of decision. Yeah. I'll second the motion. As presented on, maybe we just add. As Final draft for uh, yeah. Dated April 24, 2017. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Max? Oh, opposing? Yes. We haven't really closed out a lot of the... There's a lot of things that are still up in the air. Okay, I, I asked if there was any discussion, and then I didn't hear anything, and then I asked for a vote. So... Well, and that's... I'm voting. All right. He didn't know him, he seems to be interested in getting everything nailed down. And well, that's why we asked for interested in. Well, I would have been we very were extremely in interested, and we were yeah. looking for someone to bring something up. Um, but having I, the I wasn't vote, able to make the last meeting, so. Having started it's the all vote, here it's in print, to. and you want to vote on this. So. Oh, that's right, you weren't here at the last meeting. So. But I did listen to the meeting. Right. I watched the meeting. No, and uh, yeah, that went. Any abstentions? So that's, um, and we're missing one person. Roger's not here, so we got five. Five, five, zero, one, five, five, one, zero. One, five, one, zero. Five, one, zero. And that's been approved, five, one, zero. Okay, so we're gonna go to the stormwater permit decision? Yep. All right, so. Signing now or just after we're done? I will pass you a clean copy. And you can sign the back page. So then this one here is not, is not needed? No, this well, is a scheme that right. doesn't okay, say final fine. draft okay, on then. it. And I oh, this is the one we're signing. Yes, yeah, sign the back page of that one. And there may be a couple things that I have to clean up, but we'll have this clear back page. And I need to get this back so that I can make sure to get it back to Priscilla tomorrow. I'll request that and get it back. Yeah. I'll get my pen back. I don't let anybody steal my pen. I'm sure you have a. You know how we all have our, day, our own pens. We have to. Can't think without them. So on the stormwater permit decision, it is also a final draft dated for 1917. Um, you can see, again, I just as to the data plan, I've just taken out those words, various sheets, so it just has this, the straight dates. So that is both on the data plan on number one and on uh, number one of the key documents on page two. 
then the real changes come, oh, and that's also in number one under the conditions of the plans on page five. The changes come then on those conditions, beginning at the bottom of page five. The first one is a copy of what had been number six on the other one that talks about the independent inspection <coughs> services, and it just copies over that language from there. And um, then we change the date again from March 22, 2017 to 2017 on number six, on page six. And then what had been number eight, which talked about inspections just to the stormwater management system, is now eliminated because that is covered in the expanded number six. So that's all that was done to change this. So these matches? They match now the what the, uh, the conditions are on the subdivision certificate of decision. Anything else? Do we have a motion to approve the stormwater <coughs> permit decision for the definitive subdivision plan in the condominium that you're in? I'll make a motion to approve the stormwater permit decision for the subdivision plan in the condominiums of Sugar. Need me on April 24, 2017. I'll second that motion. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain. 5-1-0. Okay. This should keep you busy for a while. <laughs> <laughs> one of those. <laughs> 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 this is fairly anticlimactic. There's a lot of work to be done still for us. There is. Here's a clean version of that for you folks to sign. I think you're going to be filling a niche there, though, that needs to be. We hope so. I mean, there was a lot of discussions with boards and committees before I ever brought this to the plan board. The idea that this is what the town, the majority of the town should want. And I know you don't hear this very often, John. You said this clearly the last ones, but we do appreciate all the time you guys put in. It's an amazing amount of... Everybody put a lot of time in this one. Uh, well, you guys get paid. <laughs> 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 well, they'll get paid. Sorry, no, really. Well, <laughs> 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 yeah, they might get paid. <laughs> you are all volunteers, and we do appreciate it. Yes, we are. Downs, of course, but you guys have worked very hard on this, and we appreciate it. Many times... Uh, People overlook that fact that we are volunteers. We'll do a good job. That's what we want. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. The main you thing. know, and what we're here for is to make sure we can do that by the same time. Absolutely. We're, good. we're on the same page. Thank you again. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other? So, um, so now there is an appeals. Twenty days. Is that it? It's a 20 day appeal, and as we've been discussing, there are some other various things. documents right. that need to be pulled together during that time frame. Good. And then, when all of those documents are completed and the appeal period is passed, then we we'll coming back here again for the endorsement of the plan. Right. Right. And at that point, so. now we have to record the decisions, plus, we have to record the plan. Yep. Thank you, Simon. After the appeal. That's after the clerk. Yeah, so yeah. I will have these back to the town with the signatures tomorrow, So they, and I will send them directly to the clerk yeah. with so everybody else. Dave stamp and then so she, Right, so then she can do that, and then you can uh, pick them up and get them for the registry. So we'd like to just appreciate the back and forth and um, I think four public meetings, and you guys took a lot of the considerations, and so, uh, and as Rachel said, now it's really... Do a nice job and everybody will be happy. Well, a lot of people will be happy. <laughs> well, I've done these before and the, the people who are not happy seem to get in line and understand after it starts to go up, they see what it is and not everyone will be happy, but I think most of them will be. So we're, we're here to try to look out for the, sort of the majority or, you know, the, the bigger aspects of what's going on in town and we haven't had many houses built in a long time, so I think there's certainly a, a, a demand there. We've already seen some of it. So. Twenty percent of the project, thirty percent of the project already in the first phase, and twenty percent of the really? project. Twenty percent, fifteen units already. 
Wow. And that's with no advertising here. Where, where are you finding your demographic? Or is, are they from around here? Here she is. <laughs> what, is your, what is your name? All right, all right we're going we're gonna to do one more item and then we're going to go to the oh, town meeting. We'll see you over there, maybe. Thank you all. And what, <laughs> so we'll see some of you over there. What is your name now? Shirley Howard. Shirley Howard. She doesn't have to. She doesn't say she doesn't have to. Oh, just as. Yeah, but I mean, we're not going to be able to sit around if we don't fight things. So the one other piece of it, so um, uh, back in May 2015, we, we endorsed an ANR, but the people lost the Mylar, and we now have proof that we did it. It's a copy of it right there. Okay. So I wrote a note on this saying that the original was approved on 5-26-15. The Mylar is being re-signed today, 4 24 So we all just want to, well, well, the people who were on the board at that time, which is... I should make a motion that uh, oh, sure. we're going to... I guess endorse the copy dated from May 15, 2015. Or what's the date on it? May. Who was on there? Um, Roger May Paul. 26, 2015. Um, who's that? Not me. Oh, is that Not my May. signature? Kip, come on, oh, Kip was this. Yeah. Who was this year? That yeah, looks like my. Baronis, John Baronis. Yeah. It might have been on my hiatus. Was this? <laughs> 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 that was on four of us. I was on my little vacation. Anything else uh, before the board tonight? So the one question is that um, at the town meeting, I, yeah. I actually I haven't seen the warrant. Kip, do you know is there is the two zoning things on the warrant? Yeah. How and high are so they? So is the planning board going to be expected to make a comment? I don't believe. So. All right. If if they are, I'm happy. I'll be here. I'm happy to make a comment. But we did. We I don't know what they are. Took no action. We took no action on the two zoning things. Is basically uh, what we'll say. Those two are not going to be on. Oh, okay. They yeah, have, the only zoning, the, well, they they're not really, the they're uh, bylaw adjustments with the numbers having to do with building permits and stuff like that for the kicks off this. Okay. But the uh, marijuana, marijuana thing, thing and, and the height thing? thing? No. They didn't make the work. There needs to be good. Oh. I'm glad there needs to be. Oh, Thank you for that, Ken. Yeah, yeah. That's that's that. Because, because yeah. I've got to go to work. Yeah. Take that <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do I, uh, so our next meeting? Oh, next week? How's that? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be Monday night. It can't be Monday because of the voting. Oh, okay. Let's who's, make it the who's, following. Run, who's up for election on the planning board this year? Kip and Roger. Kip and Roger. Oh, you're in, in uh, Steve Pristich, too. Oh, yeah, you have a challenge? He's running. Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. From over the hill? Yeah. Mr. Signage? Yeah. Okay. Good okay. So, um... He comes all the time anyway. So do we do it on the... Are you running it as, as an incumbent again? As the 8th or the second Monday or do we do it on a Tuesday or... Tuesday. I wouldn't mind doing it. We can't do it. We can't Plus do it. We can't 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 do it. Well, the second one is good. Could we sneak into one of those rooms? You put a lot of time in though. I think they want to do it. It's like it's difficult. It is, isn't it? So much stuff. How about the second? Is this... It's five Mondays in May. You know, we could wait two weeks. I don't know if we have anything. Yeah, so why not? Why not the eighth? The second eight. Monday. I'm, I'm up for the it's eight. good. It might be a quick meeting. I think we the eight. know what we have on. I feel like a quick meeting, no matter what. I will not <laughs> be here. I'm starting a project up in Manchester, New Hampshire. So. So then it's not two hours, hours, John. I can do the week. Huh? It's only two hours. <laughs> no, it's it's nine o'clock. It's, it's not even. Though. It's, oh, it's okay. not even. Um, I can do it the week before and make that meeting for sure. Um. The week before, but we can't do it. Though. Well, we could do it May second, it's Tuesday night. If we can do it May second. Oh, oh, I can't. No, it's make voting it. night. I can't do it. Isn't that voting day? The first. The first. Monday, Monday the first. is the Friday day. Uh -huh. And I, I thought you said Monday the eighth. I no? do not know what's going to. be. So that's missed. what we're looking at, and we might miss Monday the eighth. We might miss John Burroughs. But if everybody else can make it, that's the eighth. Okay. okay. All right. Monday the eighth. On my phone. And I just want to let you guys know that I'm taking the first two weeks in May off, so I will not be able to be there. Wow. I'll get all this stuff done and out to uh, Priscilla tomorrow, and I am working on completing my bills, and I will have all of that in two Excellent. Well. And I will make sure that that's all good. Signed. All right, anything else? If not, do I have a motion to adjourn? I make a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye.